Hello, Poke Peeps. Today I'm going to be showing you how to submit a Poke Stop through the Pokemon Go app. I first want to say that you have to be at least level 38 to submit a Poke Stop. So if you're lower level and don't see the option to do so, then don't worry about it, you're just not there yet. So here I am at Northern Community Park, an area I have previously reviewed, and I'm going to try and submit a new Pokestop for it. Right by the playground, I have noticed a swing set that might just be far enough away to become a Pokestop. Now you'll find that sometimes Pokestops won't show up on the map after submission because they're too close to already made Pokestops. So I was trying to position that as far as I could but still keep the location accurate. So take a nice photo. You don't want a bad photo. Like you, the way the Pokestops work is they're being voted in by other players. So you want a photo that's going to be pleasing to the eye. Now what I'm doing here is just taking a photo of the surrounding area. So the voters know that, hey, it's not like in the middle of a road or something or a busy highway. Other Pokemon Go players are going to be able to go to this Poke Spot and be perfectly safe. Yep, I input a simple title, it's just a swing set. Other things that make it through fairly easily in the Poke Spot nominations would be like a church, a playground, mm, information stations tend to go through pretty quickly. Things that would catch your eye. So another super simple definition of what this is where its location is at and this is like supporting information that the voters will look at and be and see like how interesting is this area normally I just talk about how safe and family friendly a park is and that is a good enough reason for most voters and then submit as long as you have enough Wi-Fi it will go right through So after submitting the spot, you might be asking yourself, how can I check to see if my Pokestop has been nominated yet? You're going to go on the Wayfair website. So once you're on the site, you log in with whatever you log in with your Pokemon Go account, and you are taken to the homepage where you'll see other people's nominations highlighted for everyone to see. You go straight to nominations and there you go. You'll see if a stop is in queue, which means it's in line to be voted for. Some are in voting currently, and then others are accepted, denied, or deemed as duplicates. Now, a Pokestop could take a couple of days or weeks, depending on the location. You can actually set your home location in Wayfair by going to Settings. And by doing this, you're actually speeding up your submissions nearby your home. Besides your home, you can also pick a location that you frequent. That is all there really is to submitting a Pokestop. You get seven nominations, and those nominations reset every two weeks. So if you use one nomination, you'll have six nominations left. But that other nomination that you just used will return to you in two weeks. But you'll never go above seven nominations at one time, normally. Get out there, trainers, and go start submitting Pokestops wherever you see fit. Do not be afraid to take the chance and have it be rejected. You could always submit that location again and retry. Because these aren't going through like a computer system, like computers are judging, it's people judging. You always have a second chance at that Pokestop becoming a reality. And with all that being said, happy hunting, trainers.